Three. Birds opening, huh? I don't know. Are you flipping me the birds? How could that be? Schmidley unless you really mean it. Obviously, one of the best moves I've ever seen. Not 
that one. I'm gonna show you, boy. It's a rope. We've never seen a better move. Oh, stop. I'm stopping, I'm stopping. That makes no sense. That's what I get. It's like a collective method. Of course. I'm a tactic player. I'm the one who's a gun. No, I'm a tactic player. I've only got two seconds. Bad person. Or when I go here, what do you say? I say, uh. Apologize to me? Apologize. I say, uh. Apologize to me. I don't say apologize. Say you're sorry. I don't say that. I it's the say ring. I don't know how to. What? The <laughs> ring is it. I will not say that. Even Nakamura can't see this beat. Hold on. You know what I've said. Uh. On there, uh, Chachki. Don't give me no Chachki thing. I do what I say. All right, I'll take it. And I say what I do. I take it. Yeah, I saw that too late. It's okay, you fake it. Just when you get the flurry of checks that I'm going to give you. Chikota Kalabundo. I go here. Let's see. Come on there, a flurry of checks. Just hold on, I got a flurry of checks here. You got nothing in here. I got a flurry of checks. This is there, McFlurry. Check. Mate. But well, it's not mate. You can take with the queen. You can take this with the queen. If you want to do it. You can take it with the queen. I can't talk about it. Why am I so good? It. I mean, that's what you have to do, so... Uh, yeah. I don't have to stand for this. So sit down. Oh, you're already sitting. All right, you're good. You're good. I, but I, but I, I so had you, Carlini. Like an eel. Sorry. Hey guys, Brian here and Big C, man. Pulling out some fancy stuff here, man. Look, he was so close. One move away from mate. Banking on the fact that Carlini did not have any counter counterplay here. But of course... Carl saw the beautiful coronation with the knight and the queen, or I'm sorry, yeah, the queen and the knight. Knight cutting off the escape square, queen cutting off the rest, and this is absolutely um, brilliant by <laughs> by Carl. And I mean, technically, technically, it's not me you can take, but we all know how that's going to end. So, man, style points for for Big C for tr for uh, try attempting that, but not enough to take down the great Lodicus. And I think that was the same. Uh, situation here when Stretch played Knight G5 unveiling 
because um, it went from negative 0.7 to negative 2.9 and it starts to slide toward black's favor so but uh but i man, i like how both players sp played spicy like that you know where else are you going to play spicy like that and unfortunately it did not work out this time carl t be able to take advantage and deliver two brutal mates that made them die inside man nicely done carl if you guys want to get him coffee for those beautiful mates his link is in the video description as well as his new t-shirt why am I so good? <laughs> why are you so good, Carl? Oh, we're going to figure out why he's so good in this analysis, man. So, um, strap in. This is going to be a good one. All right, so going over here, um, in the game we had Rook E6. And I'm sure some of you are wondering, why did not Carl take here? And the answer is, you can. But um, it's just, uh, I think he's just a little uncomfortable with his king being exposed like this. Notice that you can't go here or here for because it's... Uh, protected by black so queen here attacking the rook rook up this could be one continuation and black is fine here i just think carl did not want to open up his king carl's very very concerned with king safety as he should it's the most uh important thing in chess so um just in case any of you guys were wondering why he did not take the knight and um going over here this was the fatal flaw in the game will be another move for black here i mean i'm sorry for white for white yeah, he's fine to start chopping off pawns here. Um, and, uh, yeah, he just has to be a little bit patient here. And white is totally fine here, winning at plus 2.3. So, but again, I mean, I like I like the style points for Big C on that one. That was nice. That was nice. Um, just not enough there. Carl had too much counterplay there with the knight and the queen. Going back to game one here, I uh, in the opening we had e4 and then... D takes. Let's go move back. Do you guys see it? Yes. Anytime the F pawn is pushed open um, like this, always look at this diagonal. And you're going to have to check here. If you block with the pawn, then what do you play? Yes. Queen takes E4. And now you have the fork here. Check in the fork. And they'll pick up the rook. And going back here, if king E2, then this is just really awkward for white here. And uh, both instances black is winning so just want to point out that line there and um let's go here in this position in the game knight g5 was played will be another move for white here yeah just something like maybe bishop takes queen takes this could be one continuation and black is slightly better here at negative 0.5 so it was just yeah it's just one of those uh things where just kind of you play flashy but it kind of backfires on you and i think of all the players <laughs> in coffee chess carlini is the best one that can punish uh flashy moves so <laughs> nicely done carl that is why he is so damn good man all right hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought of the games in the comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hit that bell notification thanks i'll see you guys tomorrow